that fruitfulness is a high value of Campus Crusade for Christ South Africa along with faith and growth and family and of course these all interrelate so it's impossible to please God without faith we can't bear fruit without growth and we do it in the context of family and the body of Christ we're going to look at John 15 a couple of verses from there verse 5 and 16 I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Firstly, Jesus appointed us, didn't he? So it's his business. We call it the fruit of the Holy Spirit, not the fruit of Caroline Shave. And it's the Holy Spirit who produces that fruit in us. And as Campus Crusade for Christ, we don't want to be necessarily results driven or fruit driven even. It's Christ who causes forward. But the fruit is an indication of how we're doing and how we're growing. And so people will know that we are his disciples if we love each other. And note the word bear, not produce. It's the Holy Spirit that's the producer. We're the bearer. We don't work so hard to produce something, but we bear fruit out of our relationship with Jesus. So it's fruit, not product. So fruit starts with life. It is alive. It multiplies itself. And a product does none of those things. We're not in some kind of production line. And as you know, many fruits look different. So our fruit also will look different according to who we are. And it's not just any kind of fruit, it's fruit that will last. There was once a student who saw that this course was going to be a lengthy process and so he asked his lecturer, you know, are there any shortcuts? And the lecturer replied, well, yes there are, but it really depends what you want to become. Do you want to be a mushroom or do you want to be an oak tree? The mushroom takes just a few months to develop. An oak tree takes about 200 years. We're in it for the long haul to bear great and lasting fruit. And you could say that this chapter focuses on fruit and we might focus on fruit by doing lots of things. But actually fruit only comes up eight times in verses 1 to 17. You could say that the focus is on abiding and so we need to uh, do lots in our quiet times. But you know that only comes up ten times. But I, as in Christ, comes up 36 times from verses 1 to 17. So it's about Jesus and about being in Christ in order to bear fruit. We are the branches and he is the vine, the whole vine, not just the trunk. We are in Christ. And out of that relationship comes fruit. So it's trusting first and then trying. It's worshipping first and then working. Without Christ, we can do nothing. I live in Cape Town. There are many vineyards in Cape Town. And if you go and look in the autumn, you'll see that the branches that are bearing the most fruit are those closest to the root. So draw close to Jesus in order to bear much and lasting fruit.